IBM Cloud Pack for Automation introduces a new process mining capability. Let's see how this feature provides full visibility over a poker to pay process based on SAP. Those are the typical problems that we want to address on a poker to pay process. Let's see what the real process uh, looks like. So here we can see the frequency view with the most frequent activities and the most frequent path. With the multi-level process mining capability, we can merge in a single process uh, several SAP processes, like requisition, order, receipt, and invoice. So what are the different paths that my process is taking? So here we can see several variants, and we can understand which are the most frequent ones and how they are working. Next, we want to understand where are the bottlenecks. So we can move to the performance view where we see the duration between activities and the duration of activities. Here we can see that there are 70 days before service entry sheet registered. Let's see how we can check specific procure to pay issues. Maverick are uh, orders without purchase requisition. So we have a dedicated dashboard where we can see the trends for those Maverick orders and what the process looks like, as well as the expected saving. Invoice Maverick, what are the invoices without purchase order? So we can see the vendors and the resources mostly involved, as well as what the process looks like, and the saving. Process deviations, we compare the existing process with the reference model that we can import from BlueWorks Life. Red activities are not in the reference model, they are not conformant, and you get an explanation of why they are not conformant, and which department and which resource are involved. How much cause the deviations? This dashboard provides an analysis of the number of events and the cost associated to each non-conformant activity and the expected savings. Reworks are activities that are done several times during a case. They can be due to human errors and are sometimes good candidates for RPA automation. Increasing the level of automation requires understanding which activities are the most expensive. Here we see order approved and invoice registered. They are the most expensive and they are not automated. Before engaging development resources on automation, we want to simulate the effect of those automated activities. This can be done using the digital twin that is based on the generated PPMN model and the generated business rules. So here we see the business rules that explain a gateway. Then we can create a scenario for the simulation. In this scenario, we can change all the parameters, including the business hours, the number of people. We can go into a particular activity and change the number of uh, resources assigned to it uh, and say that there will be one bot working in 60% of the cases and it will take him 5 minutes instead of 15. Same thing for the order, the other uh, activity. From here we can run the simulation. Then when the simulation is over, we can compare the AZ scenario with the to be scenario and understand through a series of KPIs and trends if the automation is appropriate. So here we can compare, for instance, the average lead time, the total cost, and we can go into the details of each uh, activities uh, in the process and see what are the benefits. With process mining, we can accumulate the data over time and see clearly the evolution of the automation benefits. Finally, we can discover which cash discount are at risk by looking at the late or on-time uh, invoices and understand which vendors, which resources, and how the process behaves to explain those uh, late uh, invoices.